Guinea. Guinea officially the Republic of Guinea is a west coastal country in West Africa. Formerly known as French Guinea, the modern country is sometimes referred to as Guinea Conakry to distinguish it from other countries with Guinea in the name and the eponymous region, such as Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea. Guinea has a population of 12.4 million and an area of 245,857 square kilometers, 94,926 square miles. The sovereign state of Guinea is a republic with a president who is directly elected by the people, this position is both head of state and head of government. The unicameral Guinean National Assembly is the legislative body of the country, and its members are also directly elected by the people. The judicial branch is led by the Guinea Supreme Court, the highest and final court of appeal in the country. Guinea is a predominantly Islamic country, with Muslims representing 85% of the population. Guinea's people belong to 24 ethnic groups. French, the official language of Guinea, is the main language of communication in schools, in government administration, and the media, but more than 24 indigenous languages are also spoken. Guinea's economy is largely dependent on agriculture and mineral production. It is the world's second largest producer of bauxite and has rich deposits of diamonds and gold. The country was at the core of the 2014 Ebola outbreak. Human rights in Guinea remain a controversial issue. In 2011 the United States government claimed that torture by security forces, and abuse of women and children e.g. female genital mutilation were ongoing abuses of human rights. Etymology of Guinea Guinea is named after the Guinea region. Guinea is a traditional name for the region of Africa that lies along the Gulf of Guinea. It stretches north through the forested tropical regions and ends at the Sahel. The English term Guinea comes directly from the Portuguese word Guiné, which emerged in the mid-15th century to refer to the lands inhabited by the Guineas, a generic term for the black African peoples south of the Senegal River, in contrast to the Tani Zanaga Berbers above it, whom they called Azanigs or Moors. History of Guinea The land that is now Guinea belonged to a series of African empires until France colonized it in the 1890s, and made it part of French West Africa. Guinea declared its independence from France on 2 October 1958. From independence until the presidential election of 2010, Guinea was governed by a number of autocratic rulers. For the origin of the name, Guinea, see Guinea, region, section etymology. What is now Guinea was on the fringes of the major West African empires. The earliest, the Ghana Empire, grew on trade but ultimately fell after repeated incursions of the Almoravids. It was in this period that Islam first arrived in the region by way of North African traders. The Soso Kingdom 12th to 13th centuries briefly flourished in the resulting void but the Mali Empire came to prominence when Soundiata Keita defeated the Soso ruler Somenguru Kante at the Battle of Kirina in c. 1235. The Mali Empire was ruled by Mansa emperors, the most famous being Kanku Musa, who made a famous Hajj to Mecca in 1324. Shortly after his reign the Mali Empire began to decline and was ultimately supplanted by its vassal states in the 15th century. The most successful of these was the Songhai Empire, which expanded its power from about 1460 and eventually surpassed the Mali Empire in both territory and wealth. It continued to prosper until a civil war over succession followed the death of Askia Daud in 1582. The weakened empire fell to invaders from Morocco at the Battle of Tondibi just three years later. The Moroccans proved unable to rule the kingdom effectively, however, and it split into many small kingdoms. After the fall of the major West African empires, various kingdoms existed in what is now Guinea. Fulani Muslims migrated to Futa Jalan in central Guinea and established an Islamic state from 1727 to 1896 with a written constitution and alternate rulers. The Wasulu or Wasulu Empire was a short-lived 1878-1898 empire, led by Samori Touré in the predominantly Malinke area of what is now Upper Guinea and southwestern Mali Wasulu. It moved to Ivory Coast before being conquered by the French. Government and politics of Guinea. The country is a republic. The president is directly elected by the people and is head of state and head of government. The unicameral National Assembly is the legislative body of the country, and its members are directly elected by the people. 
The judicial branch is led by the Guinea Supreme Court, the highest and final court of appeal in the country. Guinea is a member of many international organizations including the African Union, Agency for the French-speaking Community, African Development Bank, Economic Community of West African States, World Bank, Islamic Development Bank, IMF, and the United Nations. President Alpha Conde derives support from Guinea's second-largest ethnic group, the Malinke. Guinea's opposition is backed by the Fula ethnic group, which account for around 32% of the population. Military of Guinea Guinea's armed forces are divided into five branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, the Paramilitary National Gendarmerie, and the Republican Guard, whose chiefs report to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who is subordinate to the Minister of Defense. In addition, regime security forces include the National Police Force Sûreté National. The Gendarmerie, responsible for internal security, has the strength of several thousand, the Army, with about 15,000 personnel, is by far the largest branch of the armed forces. It is mainly responsible for protecting the state borders, the security of administered territories, and defending Guinea's national interests. Air Force personnel total about 700. The force's equipment includes several Russian-supplied fighter planes and transports. The Navy has about 900 personnel and operates several small patrol craft and barges. Geography of Guinea Guinea shares a border with Guinea-Bissau to the northwest, Senegal to the north, Mali to the northeast, Ivory Coast to the east, Sierra Leone to the southwest and Liberia to the south. The nation forms a crescent as it curves from its southeast region to the north and west, to its northwest border with Guinea-Bissau and southwestern coast on the Atlantic Ocean. The sources of the Niger River, Gambia River, and Senegal River are all found in the Guinea Highlands. At 245,857 square kilometers, 94,926 square miles, Guinea is roughly the size of the United Kingdom. There is 320 kilometers, 200 miles of coastline and a total land border of 3,400 kilometers, 2,100 miles. It lies mostly between latitudes 7 degrees and 13 degrees north, and longitudes 7 degrees and 15 degrees west a small area is west of 15 degrees. Guinea is divided into four main regions, Maritime Guinea, also known as Lower Guinea or the Bas Cote Lowlands, populated mainly by the Susu ethnic group, the cooler, mountainous Futa Jalan that runs roughly north-south through the middle of the country, populated by Fulas, the Sahelian Oat Guinea to the northeast, populated by Malinke, and the forested jungle regions in the southeast, with several ethnic groups. Guinea's mountains are the source for the Niger, the Gambia, and Senegal rivers, as well as the numerous rivers flowing to the sea on the west side of the range in Sierra Leone and Ivory Coast. The highest point in Guinea is Mount Nimba at 1,752 meters 5 feet. Although the Guinean and Ivorian sides of the Nimba Massif are a UNESCO strict nature reserve, the portion of the so called Guinean backbone continues into Liberia, where it has been mined for decades. The damage is quite evident in the Nazarekore region at 7 degrees 32 17 and 8 degrees 29 50 W. Economy of Guinea Guinea has abundant natural resources, including 25% or more of the world's known bauxite reserves. Guinea also has diamonds, gold, and other metals. The country has great potential for hydroelectric power. Bauxite and alumina are currently the only major exports. Other industries include processing plants for beer, juices, soft drinks and tobacco. Agriculture employs 80% of the nation's labor force. Under French rule, and at the beginning of independence, Guinea was a major exporter of bananas, pineapples, coffee, peanuts, and palm oil. Guinea has considerable potential for growth in the agricultural and fishing sectors. Soil, water, and climatic conditions provide opportunities for large-scale irrigated farming and agro-industry. Languages of Guinea The official language of Guinea is French. Other significant languages spoken are Pular, Fulfold or Fulani, Maninka, Malinke, Susu, Kisi, Kapel, and Loma. Education in Guinea The literacy rate of Guinea is one of the lowest in the world, in 2010 it was estimated that only 41% of adults were literate, 52% of males and 30% of females. 
Primary education is compulsory for six years, but most children do not attend for so long, and many do not go to school at all. In 1999, primary school attendance was 40%. Children, particularly girls, are kept out of school to assist their parents with domestic work or agriculture, or to be married. Guinea has one of the highest rates of child marriage in the world. Sports in Guinea Football is the most popular sport in the country of Guinea. It is run by the Guinean Football Federation. The association administers the national football team, as well as the national league. It was founded in 1960 and affiliated with FIFA since 1962 and with the Confederation of African Football since 1963. The Guinea national football team, nicknamed Sile Nationale national elephants, have played international football since 1962. Their first opponent was East Germany. They have yet to reach World Cup finals, but they were runners-up to Morocco in the Africa Cup of Nations in 1976. Guinea Championnat National is the top division of Guinean football. Since it was established in 1965, three teams have dominated in winning the Guinea Coupe Nationale. Heroia AC leads with 16 titles and is the current 2017-2018 champion. Hafia FC, known as Conakry 2 in 1960s, is second with 15 titles having dominated in 1960s and 70s, but the last coming in 1985. Third with 13 is as Cologne Star, known as Conakry I in the 1960s. All three teams are based in the capital, Conakry. No other team has more than five titles. The 1970s were a golden decade for Guinean football. Hafia FC won the African Cup of Champions clubs three times, in 1972, 1975, and 1977, while Heroia AC won the 1978 African Cup Winners' Cup. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.